Hi friends. Hi friends. Hello. So CJ, do you remember when you asked me how wood turns into soil? So I wanted to show you a few things in the woods behind our house because right now it's really easy to see how things decay. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Okay. I'm so happy you have boots on. Okay, let's go find a couple of examples how wood decays. Messed up garden, yeah. This is very much a messed up garden, but we're still growing one tomato. Look at this. Our fence fell over from a couple of storms. I saw that there's a couple green ones down there. Yeah, I know. I saw those too. And then we had harvested the others. There's another green one. <laughs> nice, you should pick it up on the way home. Okay, here are the beautiful woods behind our house. And also, guys, the forest leads to the biggest ponds. Biggest ponds? Yeah, the lakes are all the way down there, that's right. Okay, well, let's go in here a little bit. So, as you can see, there are a lot of trees that have fallen over, right? Yeah, because a lot of people. Right, trees get old and eventually they'll crack and fall and or a storm cracks of a branch. Like this tree here, it doesn't have anything left. It's still really tall, but look here at the bottom. Eventually, during one of our winter storms, it's probably going to come crashing down. Come here. You can see here how it's already coming apart. Look at this. What is that already? Let me see how this is like brown and turning black and there's animals living underneath it. So the animals eat it because that's what they like eating. You want to look at the bark? Yeah. That's some mold and then we got some little beetles, things living in there. Ah! Yep. Maybe they laid some eggs. I'm sure they did. Well, let's put them down gently because we just ripped the home off. But you can see here, there's some. There's a spider still there. It's a spider web. It's a spider web, but right there is a spider. You can see it shiny back. Yeah. No, I don't necessarily like them either, but out here they're doing a good job. So this tree is dead. There is nothing left. There is no leaves on it up there, but eventually it'll come. I see a it's still really strong, but eventually it's gonna crack. A squirrel? Oh, I don't see one. I don't see one. Okay, well let us let's move on. Okay, so this is what a tree looks like when it's dead. Right next door is a healthy specimen. There is no bark that's cracked or coming off. This is still really healthy and if you scrape it with a nail you could still see juice in here. Here we have some trees that have fallen down so whatever happened to them whatever they fell down and you can see the, the bark is already off and then these are worms from worm holes and then do you see how brittle this is already turning? Yeah. So the weather and bugs they start eating it up and then they start turning it into this. Yeah. yeah. Now I want to show you a couple more examples. Come go a little deeper into the forest. Yeah, we're gonna go all the way down No, we don't need to go that far. Here is a tree trunk that's even more rotted. You can see how the wood is turning even more. Look how easily I can scratch that. No, you cannot scratch a tree like that. This is the wood already coming apart. Bugs eating it, animals eating it, the weather doing its work. Here's another one that's similarly decomposed. This is a little harder still. But then look here. Here is one split open and you can see the work of the uh, beetles even better. Use this here. See how soft that is? You poke it with a stick. See how soft and mushy that wood is? That used to be a strong tree. 
in the worms and weather is slowly decomposing it and it's decaying and then when it falls down on the ground it just mixes up with everything else and then things can start growing in it again. Here's some, yeah, like some eggs or caca. <laughs> that's caca from beetles. Beetle caca? Yeah. Look how easily that all comes off. You hear that? Yeah. That's a tree sound that does not sound, that sounds hollow. Hollow means it's like empty inside because it's all decaying. When you knock on a normal tree, here, try knocking on this tree and see if you can hear anything. That does not sound hollow. And it's really yeah. hard, right? That yeah. hurt? Yeah. Yeah, let's go yeah. find another example of a tree trunk that's even more decayed. Oh, look, there's a mushroom already growing. See how I said to you, the wood starts decaying and then things can start growing in it because it starts mixing up and so on. You can see it perfectly. It was a tree. It's rotting. Here is still the tree form. It starts rotting. It starts falling apart. And then it turns into soil. Yeah. And then things grow in it. Look at this mushroom here. Yeah, but, but that looks like a disgusting mushroom. Well, somebody will like to eat it. Mushrooms grow where it's wet and cool. But look, there's already roots here. There's already lots of plants. This was all part of the tree here. But now it's already decaying. And this is how a tree turns back into soil. <laughs> so here's the tree fall. Yes, look, here's the root of that tree. And here is even more decay. From tree, root, moss. Look at that beautiful moss into soil. Looks like a nuke hit that. A what did that? A nuke hit that? <laughs> yes. And it took down a lot of trees. There are, you know, in the woods, it's like new trees grow, then they fall and they turn back into soil and then new trees can grow from it. Now I wanted to show you the opposite. Oh, look, another mushroom here before we get going. Look at this red one. I am not sure what these mushrooms are called, but they look dangerous. Oopsies, I'm so sorry, mushroom. Oh, here's the perfect example. Come here, CJ. So you know how these trees are all oak trees and then they have oh, acorns. Those are nuts. Well, yes, but acorns are a special kind of nut. Now you see what's coming out of this one? Yeah, it's a root. Well, yes, it is. It The acorn is germinating. No, and it's coming no, out of it the is top. It's germinating. It's cracking open. Yes, it is fuel, right? It's cracking open. Wait, can you see this there? Perfect. So, right here is the perfect example. So, the acorn cracked open, and then this root comes out, and then the nut searches for the soil. I mean, if that's like, if it makes it sound like the nut is alive, but it literally buries itself into the ground right here. I don't want to disturb this one. Well, you can see how it's already growing tiny little roots. You see that, CJ? Yeah. It you see the tiny it. little hairs there at the end? Yeah. That's so let's hair. put it back in here. I don't want to mess it up. There, keep growing. And this is going to grow into a tree. I'm going to go sh show you some examples. Here are some baby trees. Look, this is what that nut grows into. Sure, if we dug into the bottom here, look, that's all rotten leaves from last year. And this is the baby tree. That's how they start. And then they grow into these massive trees. Yeah, and then they grow into these taller trees. Yes. And then they have make more acorns that come down and grow into more baby trees. And the further we go up there, look at all those baby trees. Come, show our friends a few more. Ah, uh, they've seen it already. And look here, the closer we come to the edge, here's a baby tree. These are not baby, there's a baby tree. And then here, Baby tree, baby tree, baby tree, baby tree, baby tree, baby, 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 baby. So many baby trees. Baby, uh, you know what? You're right. Look at all these baby trees. 
baby oak trees, baby acorn trees. That's not acorn tree, right? There's oak oh. trees. Oh, look, show me. It's cracking open. Yeah, it's a longer root. Ooh, cool. Hold on. That is awesome. Yes, look, if we give it a little soil, it'll grow into a baby tree. And if it's strong enough, it will make it all the way up top. Come, let's find a few more acorns. And you know, there is different egg. Oh, this one, look, this one is already dug in. I couldn't pick it up. This one too, I can't move it. That is so cool. Whoop, there. I can't pull it, you'd have to pull it out, but we are not going to do that. This one too. Because the root is in the ground. Yes, it's already digging itself into the ground. You're absolutely right. Okay. Perfect. So it can be perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. I don't think you even have to cover it. I think it can do everything it needs. Look, here's another one that already dug its way in that bottom. And I know if, if you give it a little bit of soil, it'll grow It'll be even it. better? Yeah. It'll be stronger and grow really fast. Okay. You know if he's growing baby trees? You're going to be crowded. Well, not everybody makes it. But we'll find out next year. Okay. Bye, Acorn. <laughs> hey, CJ, you want to say bye to our friends? Yeah. So we learned about how a forest comes and goes, how it look lives and how it dies. Look at Barack over there. Yeah, Barack gets to look down into the trees. There is Barack. <laughs> hi, Barack. <laughs> Barack, the German Shepherd from our neighbors. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye guys! Bye. Bye! Thank you for joining Bye. us today!